Hey Hunters, I'm 26 and just when you thought the hype for the recent trailer couldn't get any higher, Capcom have revealed that they're cooking up some new spice for us. So in today's video we want to give you a quick PSA so you know what is happening and what they could possibly have in store for us. As there are some big things that Capcom has been keeping a mystery or just vague. In addition to that we got a brand new trailer for one of the smaller Monster Hunter spin-off games so let's take a look at that too. And guys, isn't it good to be back into Monster Hunter season? In this video they sat down with the big boss himself Ryojo Shizumoto, the executive director slash art director Kaname Fujioka and the director Tokura. The video discussed the various elements that they were bringing into this new entry in the series and towards the end of the video Ryoza had an additional announcement where he said this. It's great to hear that we'll be getting an additional trailer and one that will be focusing on monsters as well. So now's the time to pencil in 7th of June, 10pm UK time or 2pm PDT, as we should be getting a ton more information about the game from Ryozo while he's on stage, which will be awesome as there's quite a few things that the community want to know, like if the game will be open world or an explanation on the wounding system as that wounding system was only explained on the Japanese block. With the trailer topic being new monsters, there are various camps that the community has split into based on what they think will be revealed in the trailer. Some are speculating that we'll get the reveal of a new flagship which isn't out of place for a Monster Hunter game as we have previously had some flagships revealed at E3 which is now basically Summer Games Fest. While the other camps are more on the reserve side thinking that we're getting something more akin to a large monster, a returning monster or a siege monster to really show off what the game is all about. We did some research and digging through the reveals of past flagships from Monster Hunter games there seems to be a pattern developing with the more recent games as it looks like flagships are normally revealed in September as Magdamala, Nergigante, Velcana, Malzino were all shown in trailers in September during streams for their respective platforms making it very likely that we won't be seeing the flagships until then. However this is just a pattern of historical data and doesn't necessarily inform the future as Capcom could reveal the flagship a bit early to highlight mechanics about the game such as changing seasons if they're impacted by the flagship or even just the box art as that flagship normally or commonly appears on the box art. For us we do think it's more likely that we'll get some more large monsters or something that really shows off the scale of the game as it looks like Capcom is going for massive fields and wilds. So it'll be interesting to see just how big the monsters get in relation to that. Hopefully it's an actual brand new monster and not a returning one but if it is a returning monster then I'll take Laggy please. As we all know the reason that they didn't include Laggy in Monster Hunter World, even though they had a prototype of the monster in the engine, was that they couldn't get the skeleton to work and developing underwater combat would have required a large team development effort. We currently know of three large monsters that are going to be appearing in the game, but there is an additional monster that appears in the trailer that was spotted by the community and highlighted by Rage Gaming. It looks like a leviathan or snake monster so hopefully we get more of these bad boys in the game especially as they've said that the game is going to be as three dimensional as possible. I can't be the only one hoping for underwater combat or laggy to make a return right? On this topic hopefully we get some confirmation on if the game is going to be open world or not as currently while everyone was speculating that the game will be open world before the game was actually revealed and that continued in to the very first reveal trailer after the recent state of play and the information dump it sounds like they could be keeping the original format for the game. As there are references to multiple locales on the blog and the website for example they say each hunting location features an environment with two dynamically changing identities which makes it sound like the environments and biome will be split into different maps similar to what we normally get in Monster Hunter games. But the game does have systems in place that allow you to dynamically start quests while exploring areas, which is something that you more commonly find in games that are open world. I'm personally not precious if the game is open world or not, but it would be nice to see them pushing the boundaries of what a Monster Hunter game is and to have a real iteration on the Monster Hunter world formula so it feels like we're getting a true sequel as long as they don't destroy the core of what makes Monster Hunter enjoyable and they retain what makes it fun it's definitely a tricky one, what do you guys think? But switching back to the development team, Fujioka and Tokuda will also be there as they state in a video to give more details about the game. And hopefully this means that they'll be doing additional interviews as previously for the reveal of Rise and well these additional interviews gave a ton of insight into the games. For those of you that don't know Fujioka or Tokuda they were heavily involved in the development of World as well as previous entries in the series. With Fujioka incorporating elements of exploration and verticality into Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate which also seems to be one of the themes for Wilds as well. So there's some exciting things to look forward to this week but now we're turning to something else and something a little bit more quirky. For those who want to explore more of the Monster Hunter universe then Capcom is releasing a VLAN game called Monster Hunter Puzzles VLAN Isles. 
Today they've released a trailer for this and it is a match free game as Capcom describes it. A core element of the game will be rebuilding the town for all your freelance friends that live there. You can do this by getting new items to fill out the town or by repelling some of the iconic monsters like Rathalos. Building up the town will bring more tourists to visit your area earning you even more items to decorate the town with or equipment pieces for your feline. The game doesn't currently have a release date but will be coming out for iOS and Android and will be free to play. I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea but it is nice to see the development team provide a variety of ways for more people to get into the Monster Hunter franchise. You can't really complain about a mobile game when you have games like Wild, Sunbreak and Stories all on rotation. So the one thing that you need to do is make sure you've got the stream penciled in and subscribe to our channel as we'll be covering it in full. We'll be working hard to collect all that cool information and make it into digestible videos for you guys. But before we leave and a fun thing to do as a community and a little game is I want to take your bets for what you think the next flagship will be and what the theme of the flagship will be. Do you think it's going to be like Nerg or Magna Marlo from the last two games? For those of you that are huge Monster Hunter fans or just like the look of Monster Hunter Puzzles Feline Owls, we've included a trailer for your convenience so you don't need to go searching for it.